Your girl needs to make this money. I just didn't want it to look like I was crying the freaking whole night. Oh, I found it. Oh my god. Still living paycheck to paycheck. My mother do not look, she do not look like she's six years old. I feel like I'm wasting the time with dry tomatoes. Your friends say that you are not sincere. Your friends say proceed with care. I'm actually a bridesmaid in her wedding. You know, you get older, you get, you're learning more about all these different chemicals and stuff. And you see and feel the realness in me. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. As y'all could tell by my attire and probably just the gloominess and also the car next to me, y'all could tell what time it is. Yes, today is October 22nd and last night slash yesterday we had our first snowfall for this season. And your girl is not at all excited about it. But however, it's life. Is the life we chose. What time it is? Oh shit, was not paying attention to the time. Anyways, y'all, it's time for me to go in. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, we had the first snowfall yesterday. And lucky enough, well, it was snowing at work yesterday. We got our tires put on yesterday at work. So when your tires are on, which kind of giving me a little relief, but still, the roads were icy. Um, and as y'all can imagine, just scary. And y'all, you know what's so pissed about? So y'all know, I think I spoke about this before, but I work at a dealership. So the, the dealership that I work at is the same dealership that I got the tires put on at. And also the tires that we purchased is the same dealership where we purchased the new tires, the new winter tires from. So they put them on yesterday. And I wasn't going to store them this time because I have storage. Like we have a garage that we could store our tires. So we didn't do the whole storage thing. But what happened was, is that I told them to just put them in the, the, with the summers or the all weathers in the car. They put them in the back seat, but tell me for what reason they would put them in the back seat. Instead of like pushing down the, the back chairs and like doing the chairs down, they put them in the seat itself, which really, 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 really annoyed me because now I have like these little dark scuffs in the tire. I mean, in the seat, seats are like this beige kind of material so it's like why would you do that you literally just had to push down the the seats and like to put down the seats and and to say like these people that don't know what they're doing is a dealership so you could have pushed down the seats and put them in the trunk like why would you put them in the back seat so anyways they had them in the back seat which was obscuring my vision yesterday as i was going home from work anyways y'all so i'm gonna go into work and i'm gonna see y'all and yeah i feel like a little real weird with like oh lashes and i just look real natural and I ain't gonna make up, you know, what is this, a flavor? I ain't got no lashes and I ain't got no nails on. I just look real bare, but I feel like this is natural me. This is naturally me. This is the real me. Anyways, I see my boss walking in, so I am going to talk to y'all later. I'm at lunch at work, as y'all can tell. Well, I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm at lunch at work and i was watching a few videos today that really motivated me i don't really know what it motivated me to do i have a lot of things going through my mind a lot of things that i want to do and i feel like there's so little time basically i am going home for christmas i actually just booked my ticket not just book but probably about three weeks ago i haven't vlogged in that time frame so to me it's like just but i didn't just book the ticket so it's official i am going home for christmas but i'm really really going home for my, one of my good 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 friends um, i'm going home for her wedding i'm actually a bridesmaid in her wedding that's my real reason for going home like my initial reason for going home um and i kind of do have the habit of going home every other year or so that i think that's been the pattern so far i don't know y'all like i just don't know i feel like I feel real like i'm going through i don't even want to say a i feel like everybody be like oh i'm going to a funk going to a funk going to a funk and i mean granted it might be actually a funk but i'm going through like a part in my life where it's like i feel like for the last two years i am exactly where i am now and that is not I, I can't say exactly because obviously yes there's been progression that i'm grateful for but it's like i feel where i am now is where i have been for a while and yes a lot of it has to do with like me being on being afraid to get uncomfortable and do other things which is what i really need to do but it's scary y'all it's real scary so i feel like i am kind of in the same position that i've been in the last two years 
I've had pay, I have had definitely a pay increase, but not a major pay increase. I've been working in the position that I have now for like two years. I feel like yeah, I feel like now it's actually like two years. So th yeah, I think this September would have been two years. I've had a pay increase, but nothing major. Everything in life is like fluctuating. Like everything is becoming more expensive. So between everything becoming more expensive, just the economy fluctuating, a pay increase, but no matter expensive have gone up. So no, they kind of don't really match. Obviously, car payments gone up because we got a different vehicle. So just stuff like that is like difficult to to, to manage. Um, like I don't know y'all. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know where it's coming from. But something needs to give. Like I need something to give. I am kind of still on the job hunt. I would say kind of still because i still want another job and that's the thing y'all and it's real sad because i know you gotta do the best for what you have for more to come but i feel like because of the situation i'm in or i feel like because of the state that i'm in with my job and as i said it's nothing to do with my job per se is the fact that i feel like i'm wasting my time because i'm working and i'm working but still finding it hard to do with my everyday obligations like my finances are still pretty much me pretty much me still living paycheck to paycheck my paycheck covers my bills like my immediate bills i don't know y'all but i just need something needs to give and i don't know what it is in my head is like do i leave this job i feel like i don't want to invest anymore in something that i really don't want to do so for instance like okay i feel like okay well i don't really want to work a nine to five job i really don't want to work for nobody i want to do like you know i want to do other things where i don't have to ask change time for money so that's what i want to do but then for me it's weird because it's like now i feel like okay well i don't want to go look for another night for a job that i'm not gonna like you know but i gotta be realistic i understand okay well you doing all these other entrepreneurship ventures and stuff is not going to pay the bills for like a certain amount of time for me you get what i mean and so it's like i need to start this other stuff now see how much money i can make from it and then quit the job closer down right but yeah But it's all for something It ain't like we care But we know what happens When things move too fast But you could be moving slow And it makes me want you more freaking red today is november 3rd my eyes are super red i actually came on camera to like put on my eye drops i just got these eye drops from walmart because my eyes are red the reason my eyes are red is because yesterday i washed and dyed my hair and as i was i usually wash out my hair in the shower like i wash like if i dye my hair i'm washing my hair i wash it in the shower while i'm in the shower so what happened yesterday was that i had a dye in my hair and i'm that type of girl that i like to turn on the shower first to like kind of like warm up to get to my perfect temperature before i actually step in i guess i did not I was not checking the temperature. I got in when it was scalding freaking hot. And because I wasn't paying attention to what it was doing, the water was wetting my hair because I didn't have on a cap or anything. The water was wetting my hair and it was scalding me in my back. And then it was the water was wetting my hair and then like, w like going straight into my eyes. Like the dye and all that gunk and everything was just going straight into my eyes. So... Uh, yeah, y'all. That's the situation that we're dealing with right now. And that is why my eyes are freaking ugh, i look that's why i look crazy so if y'all want you to know that's when my eyes look like this normally i won't be really filming but i normally have like backup footage that i would be editing and working on and stuff but i literally don't have any more footage this video right now is going to be my next video because i don't got no more content y'all i ain't got no more content um I had stopped vlogging for a while just because I was doing vlogs and I realized that like, I kind of felt like I didn't really have like a what's the what's the term that like, I didn't have like a direction of where my where I wanted my vlogs to go. I was kind of just doing them here and there, and honestly, that's probably how it will always be because I just don't have a structured life. I mean, I I can't say that I don't have a lot of time. I just I'm very 
I'm a poor planner. Like I, I'm very bad at planning. Um, so I might have all the time in the world because I do have time on weekends and stuff that I could do things. So I do have times where I could do things on weekends and stuff like that. But I wasn't feeling like myself, y'all. Like I was going through it. That's the thing, y'all. I don't want to say going through it. I just had like a little period. And everybody uses the word funk. So I'm going to use that word. I was going through a little funk as it related to like social media, um, my life in general, work. Just, just, you know, you just get you that couple of weeks where you kind of like don't know what you want to do you kind of feel like nothing ain't really working you kind of feel like nothing that you do ain't really working and not helping you um you feel like you should be you want you 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 obviously want to be in a better situation be able to do more but then it's like you kind of just go through like a waiting period i guess i would say i don't know y'all let me see if i could take these drops and then talk to y'all properly okay Oh, just took one. All right, so we just see it one drop in each eye. I don't ever know. I didn't even read the instructions to see how many drops, but I mean, most of the time it's normally one to two drops. I just didn't want it to look like I was crying the freaking whole night because that's what it looked like. Just did that, and we're gonna see how that work. I don't know, but it's. I don't know if it's the placebo effect or whatever you call it. I think that's the right word, is it? Like, I kind of feel like it's already working, but I think I want to put one more drop in this eye because this is the worst eye, actually. This left eye is the eye that was irritating me. And also, to me, I feel like it looked the worst. Yeah. So, we're going to see how this works. I mean, it should work fine. Tell me why I put my... um. You know my other charger thing into like my I guess you call it the battery pack. I put my battery pack in to charge this up because I knew it wasn't charged from yesterday. And I don't know. I don't know if my battery pack was dead because it did nothing because it's still telling me eight percent. So that defeated the whole purpose. But anyways, y'all, today is Tuesday. My eyes are still acting up and I am on my way to work. Kind of far out. It was snowing this morning. I try to be careful on the road, as I always am. But um, my ETA to work is going to be around 8.40, 43 or so. Um, so I was like, let me just come on and talk to y'all for a little bit. Because I was, I wanted to turn y'all on while I was like in traffic or like by traffic lights. But y'all are not really charged up today. So yeah but y'all my eyes my eyes still feel so bad um i'm trying to look at this gps to figure out because where i am i don't really know where i am so i definitely need the gps and y'all can see that i dressed up not dressed up like i can be but dressed up like outerwear coat and everything i don't got my boots on or nothing it's not is that i don't know how bad it is near down to work but where I am right now is pretty much just water. Like it's just little, little flurries. But no, it's a lot better and I feel a lot more comfortable. And take the Anderson also, Road exit, then take the Anderson Road ramp. Also, the temperature is rising. So this morning it was like zero degrees when I left, which means it was wet outside. It was zero degrees, so it was more icy. But anyways, y'all. Take the Anderson Road ramp. Then merge onto Anderson Road That's pretty much Road all I had to say. I'm going to turn y'all off. Oh, I need to turn here. East? Yeah, I need to turn here. I'm going to turn y'all off because I am about to get on the highway. And also, you are about to die. So, I will turn y'all off. And, uh, I mean, I will see you all when, I don't know, when I get a charge, maybe. <laughs> Oh, today's a good day today's a good day i got a lot of work to do today a lot of work to do today i do but today is definitely a good day and but i can't see y'all so don't let me take this off oh, oh let me look and see if i got my eye drops i think i might have another set of eye drops another set of eye drops i have found i might just rush to use that a day if i need to but i don't know i don't feel like that right now y'all don't feel like looking for it right now so i'm not but anyways y'all i am going to turn you guys off just chill out in the car for a bit and be on my phone and i will see y'all later have a good day
Good morning, guys. Good morning. Your girl is in better spirits this morning. I look a little bit better too. I hope. I hope my eyes don't look as bad as they were. But anyways, y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome back to another vlog. Actually, I started vlog yesterday, so anyways, but yeah. So today is Wednesday, November 4th, maybe. I don't know the dates, y'all. But yeah, so I uh, just went to Walmart and got some stuff to do dinner this evening. Bay wants Tuscan chicken again. I think that's the correct term for it, but basically it's like chicken breast with mushrooms, spinach, um, and in like a kind of like um, creamy, cheesy, actually I don't know if too cheesy, but a creamy kind of sauce. So that is what I will be doing this evening. We were gonna do it on Monday evening when I got home from work, but Monday I finished work late, so we didn't cook that on Monday. Um, and yeah, what else did I get from? Oh, I had to go and buy a deodorant, y'all, because your girl, I don't know what it is, y'all. I don't know. This might be TMI. I, nah, this is a damn TMI. This is this is the real, the real, the real stuff. A couple months ago, in one of my vlogs, or a couple vlogs, I was telling y'all about this deodorant, which is the, is it secret also? Yes, I think it's secret, the aluminum deodorant. I actually got one in my bag right now. Um, I was telling y'all about that deodorant and it was the aluminum free deodorant. Don't get me wrong. It lasts. It's a good deodorant, right? However, let me tell y'all. Let me explain to y'all the difference and like why the whole point of these different, um, I want to put on my, I want to put on my camera lens. I'm not going to get it put on because it's like green again. Um, so yeah, so I was switching over to like aluminum free deodorants you know you know you get older you get you're learning more about all these different chemicals and stuff that we are putting into our bodies that um can potentially cause cancer all these different cancer causing chemicals and stuff so you know i was just trying to do a little bit and you know switch here and there and my mom for many years has been telling me to switch over to aluminum free deodorant but i was just always telling her mom i don't find one that i like or that i could work with so anyways i found the secret aluminum free deodorant and i love it i still love it i still love it no light right however it's and is is like the thing is the aluminum free deodorants are not antiperspirants which means you will still sweat you know they help but you will still sweat they do not help they do not stop you from sweating anyway so I had the aluminum free, the aluminum free secret deodorant. It still worked good. I love the flavors. Like they got a lot of nice scents and it smell real good. I know that it's not going to stop me from sweating. That's, I guess, a con. But everybody know that the whole point of the aluminum in deodorant is it stop me from sweating. It's an antiperspirant, so it will stop me from sweating. But they don't stop me from sweating, so you will still sweat. So what I find that I had to do, reapply more often than normal. But... You know, I was willing to do that stuff, and the thing is, it was summer then, right? So I would, I would, I would, I would more think that that would be my situation because it was summer. But now it's fall, winter. Like, you know, I thought it would have helped me a little bit more, but then I feel like now it's actually a little bit worse because outside cold and stuff. And being that outside cold, I wearing a big coat and then the heat on, so then me and this cold, like. The car, the car are real toasty like you know all inside this cool and I real toasty and warm and then I started to sweat I'll be sweating inside my coat I don't know y'all but anyway so when I went to Walmart I just went ahead and I bought another one I bought another um, the old deodorant that I used to use which was secret still because I love secret um, but this one is the normal aluminum deodorant and I was you know what I'm gonna just keep it like use it like on days like use it when i feel like I, I'm, I'm gonna be exerting myself a little bit more um or maybe time when i go oh and i don't want to be having to deal with the hassle because when i at work and stuff i don't really be smelling musty at work but i be feeling sweaty i don't be smelling sweaty i will feel sweaty but i don't want that when i go going out i gotta be walking with extra deodorant you know tell me why i applied for two jobs yesterday two jobs and some me which I don't even know if I could correct it right now. But I'll see when I get to work. I did one resume and I kind of catered it towards the first job. And I put the company name in the resume. 
and it was weird because normally with my resumes and my cover letters and stuff I first of all with my resume my resume is normally just generic my resume fits all you know unless it's specific i might go and change up my skills or whatever to fit a certain job but my cover letter is normally the one that i will put like the company name on it yeah so my cover letter is normally the one that i will put like the company name like if it's a certain company i will put okay yeah da 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 inside of the cover letter itself but my resume i normally don't but anyways this particular resume i did i put the company name in the resume a like along with the skills that I felt would fit the, the job or whatnot. So then I applied for the first job and I s ended up saving the document as saving it as my generic resume for totally forgetting that I had the company name in it. And then I actually used the same resume to apply for another job. So when these people get this, when this other company get this job, I mean when this other company opened these applications, you can see that I was applying for another job. So my plan is, it was one of those situations where you couldn't have like a dual online application through a website. So I'm going to see if I could like cancel the application and then do it again with the actual one or maybe just apply for the job again with the proper one. I don't really know y'all. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I feel like weird about it, but I also feel like Ugh, whatever. But that's not a good look. But y'all, you know what? I have my work Christmas party coming up in november my girlfriend's birthday this weekend actually next week well next week and it gonna be kind of chill because just a lot of different situations happening right now but i got my work party and i really don't feel it this year i really don't feel like spending any money this year to prepare for it last year my mom was here my mom went with me to that christmas party and you know it was like i it was such a good feeling it was so good because it was i mean she's been to parties before but she's when i tell you where i work the company that i work for the way we just get done when it comes to parties and events the month the amount of money that we spent on these events y'all our events be lit when i tell you lit they be very very much out there very much nothing basic at all um is is really be something i was like you know i really wanted my mom to experience that and she did so i'm glad about that for sure however also like last year i was saying like last year and stuff what we did was we bought clothes and you know um because every year is a theme so this theme this year i don't remember the theme oh the theme for last year i think was havana night which is kind of like a cuban was like meaning like cuban nights and last year I feel like my dress really, really fit the description. But last last year was Havana night, and I'm gonna insert a picture of my outfit. But I think it was the same, yeah, the same outfit that I wore for that that was purchased for that is the same outfit that I wore for my anniversary dinner this year. It was a anyway. I'll insert that picture. But this year is 90s, so I just still don't know if I want to go or do anything. I haven't asked you yet because I still don't know if I really feel like. Because y'all know that I going home. I think I told y'all I going home for Christmas, and that is like going to be a heavy expense. Just November and December itself, the last few months just have been heavy expenses. The rest of the year will be a heavy expense, probably until January, February. You know, the end of the year is always difficult, like Christmas, da da da, always hard. So I was like, do I really want to have to spend the money to like? prepare for it but it's gonna be like 90s formal not bad i could see a few cute outfits i could you know but anyways y'all i'm gonna think about it some more i'm gonna decide if it is financially feasible for me to do it what? if not i am just not gonna do it Hi guys, welcome back to another day. Today is the next day. Today is Thursday. I think Thursday the 5th or 7th. What's today? Y'all don't know what's today. But again, I'm on my way to work. I didn't show y'all me making the thing that I was planning to make yesterday because I didn't make it. We didn't make it yesterday. Um, yesterday we ended up just going out to eat. Um, so I just had a little shrimp situation we went to original joe's um 
because it was kind of late but probably gonna be home we're only seeing time today so yeah we still gonna be late but we're gonna make it today we we trying to make it today you never find no one in this lifetime to love you like i do so never mind the things that people say i will never hurt you your friends say that you are not sincere your friends they proceed with care and you see and feel the realness in me the things that people say i will never hurt you Y'all, I made it to work. I was talking before even started. I made it to work. I hope my hair look fine. I was, I made it to work, but I was sitting in the car. Well, because I don't go in that early. I kind of early today. So anyways, I am sitting in the car and I'm looking at this picture of my mom. So my mother right now, she is in the US. She kind of like hopping from place to place. Not really hopping from place to place because she she does she can't afford it or nothing. She's just going from like friend to friend, like seeing certain friends that she hasn't seen over the years. So she was in New York first with her friends, and then she went to North Carolina to see another friend. Then she's going to like I think going to Maryland, which is Philadelphia. I think she's going to Philadelphia. I think to see her cousin, and then I think that's the end of. She may go to South Carolina and then she may go back to New York. But anyways, she's just doing a lot, right? So, she's leaving her friend in North Carolina today. Cause So, they went out last night. They took her out last night to Olive Garden or whatever. But, y'all, my mother is freaking 60. And in this picture, uh, to me... My mother, first of all, my mother, in general, she don't look like 60, like 60 at all. My mother don't look like 60. She don't even look like 50, in my opinion. But in this picture, like, with the hair, the hairstyle that she has, the clothes she got on and everything, my mother looked like she could pass a freaking, to me, she could pass for, like, 17, like, a, a big 17, right, y'all? I will show y'all the lady that she with, but funny enough, the way how the picture was taken, the, her friend's face is, like, blurred, um, I guess, because she was, like, moving at the time the picture was taken, so, oh, yes. what the hell so i said it to my girlfriend because i was like yo look at her like look at her so when my mom came for christmas last year it was either christmas last year or the christmas before i don't remember when she came but when my mom came my girlfriend decided that we should gift her a pair of shoes well we went into dsw and we saw a pair of nice and like a core shoes and my girlfriend i think it was mainly a gift from my girlfriend to my mom but they were so I didn't even realize that my mother was wearing the shoes in this picture. But anyways, my mother do not look. She do not look like she's 60 years old. But anyways, it's it's just it's just so glad to see my mom like enjoying life. She finally retired. I guess I would say retired. Yeah, she's though she doesn't plan to go back working. But it happened a it happened prematurely. She would have been working still. Um, but everything worked. So you know how it's supposed to work out she's a lot happier now she could do what she want to do so my mother had got i don't really want to be too much in my mother business but she had got laid off so my mother used to work at my mother used to work at a very very big tourist attraction back home and she was one of like the higher higher ups i guess i would say at one point she was um at one point when they didn't have a ceo anymore she was the ceo of that company um but she didn't really want the stress so she just kind of wanted them to her if I'm finding a CEO so she could go back to her normal post. But anyway, so she was like a CEO for like a few, I would say probably a year or two. I really don't remember. But the job was stressful. Um, but either way, so that was the position she had. But you know how things happen. Companies get sold. They buy out this, da da da. Y'all know. If y'all be a gen or any, know anything about how the Caribbean be working, the Caribbean be selling out everything. The, the especially Barbados, you'd be selling all these companies and you know whatever. Anyways, so she got laid off, and then after that she was just you know enjoying life. You know she had some money, you know she got a fair set of money put down. Da, da, da. Enjoying life, and my dad still works. My dad works for himself, so whatever. So she was good, you know. Um, so then she came here for that was when she came here for like six months my mom came here for six months after that happened she came for six months she you know she just was here for six months um that was before this last time that she came in 2023 she was here for six months so then she went back home after six months 
I think the reason she went back home too was because she had to found a job. So she had to go in for like an interview. So it was perfect timing because six months is the maximum you could stay in a country without, you know, just as a visitor. So anyway, she went home, she had an interview, da, da, da. she got a job and she worked for about, I don't know, she worked for a good couple of months. She didn't like it. And at that point in life, girl, she didn't need a job. She don't. She didn't need a job then, she didn't need a job now. You know, she don't need a job. She just wanted a job for extra money, but she never needed the cash, you know? So, she didn't like the job. She did the job. She didn't like the job. She left the job. Um, Then she was enjoying life, just doing what she feel like doing. Uh, I'm just so happy for her, honestly. Like, you know, I really wish that I was in a position where I could do a lot more for my parents, specifically my mother, but my parents in general, because my parents have done so, 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 so much for me. And I know a lot of people can't say this. But anyway, so, she came back. Then, okay, so she quit She quit our job. Then she was just relaxing what she think. Then she found another little gig that she was like, oh, she could do for a little bit. And the other thing, my mother, really, my mother is really strategic. So it's like she wanted to do certain things, like certain renovations in the home. And they would have been costly. And yes, obviously they had, yes, they had the money to do it. But my mother's thing was like, I didn't want to use the money that I got put down and stuff to do these things. Let me go back and work for this six months, get some money. And do the renovations which is i think what she did but i don't even know but anyway so she she had a, this this last job that she had a couple of months ago she was on a contract she didn't she didn't want a permanent thing she just wanted to be on contract she did the contract she said she actually was pretty much okay with this job you know she pretty much liked it but she just wanted to be on contract i know she done and she went home i know she just enjoying life um she just enjoying life i'm just so happy for like her and stuff and another th one thing that does make me sad is the fact that i am not in because as i said i'm not in a position where i could i was like sorry y'all i keep okay off the pace i wish i was in a position where i could do more as i said for my parents for my mother um because i know she's worked her whole life and you know at this point in life it's time to like you know sit down and relax and do the things that you want to do but however my mother had one good good friend it was her best friend I, I would say like i think they acknowledge that they were best friends to a certain point but it was her best friend and her best friend passed away so it's hard because it's like people work their whole lives and then they retire and it's like okay time for me to sit down and relax and they don't get they don't get to do it which is exactly what happened they did the same certification that's how they met they were in the same field my mother's accountant or was an accountant in the same field and stuff and then it's like now it's time to relax and enjoy life you know some people don't get to do it so that's what happened to her friend her, you know she didn't get to do all these things her, her friend or my mom they didn't get they, they planned all these things they planned that when this thing came and they were going to retire they were going to enjoy life and travel the world and all that good stuff and um things just don't always turn out the way that you want them to be so for me I want to be that person that I can travel with my mom. I want and be able to enjoy all these different places that she wants to do and she wants to see before it's too late, you know? Before it's too late for me or before it's too late for her or just before it's too late for us. Um, anyway, so I'm glad that she enjoyed life. But now it's like, okay, I'm working another... I live away. I live in another country. I'm working full time and I don't have the time to like enjoy all these things that my mom wants to do with her. So I really want to find something that I could do where it could be making income but also have the freedom to do things that i want to do because honestly y'all and it's, as i said it's nothing about it's nothing against my job or what i work or whatever it's just this whole nine to five hustle lifestyle having a nine to five is a shit show it allows you to afford your basics it allows you to afford just the basics of what you need it does not allow you to do anything else i do not want to live another 40 30 to 40 30 to 35 to 45 years of my life at a job at a nine to five where once a year i'm allowed to take and ask i have to ask and i say ask because you don't get to just pick up and say you know you got put in for vacation see if you get approved i do not want to spend my life that way some people i don't think anybody wants to spend their life that way but some people is like oh whatever it is just how life is for me that's not how life is because i've seen people who do not live a life like that and that is not what i want to spend my the rest of my days doing i don't want to have to work from nine to five eight to five whatever give a job eight hours of my day and then i hardly want to do anything else and then just do it again the next day i do not want to live my life like that so anyways all that being said 
your girl needs to make this money so I could give myself and my family the life that they deserve. So me and babe and my family can live the life that we deserve and have the freedom to do what we want to do and just live life because this night to buy grind is not it's not it it's not it I don't remember what came for, but I want to look for sun dried tomatoes. But I've never seen them before. I don't really know what they look like, and so I was gonna get sun dried tomatoes. Um, but yeah, I don't know what they look like. I want to get a cranberry juice too, but I want to get like a cheap one. I don't want an expensive cranberry juice. I just want a basic cranberry juice. So cranberry cherry cocktail. This one is well. Cranberry, raspberry. Um, and then this one is cranberry, just plain cranberry. Um, I'm gonna get some dish soap. And yeah. As I said, I try to look for like these sundry tomatoes, but I don't know what the hell that shit looks like. Like I've never had it before. And I want to came to lunch. I mean, I want to came. Oh, I found it. Oh my god, look. Look, y'all. Sundry tomatoes. They have this one. It is more expensive, but I don't really know if I care about, you know. Well, this is actually $5. This one is 6 So, this one look pretty good. Hmm. I'm going to get this one. This one is $3. But... Basil, sundry tomatoes, martelli, which is a five for this one. This one is a tomato paste, this one is a strips, and then this one is well strips. I think I'm just getting one of these ones because and this one looks a lot more. in oil I'm gonna get this one I'm gonna get that one next we just gotta get this salt and I'm eating I'm gonna head over here and head back to work oh chicken broth I don't know if I need chicken broth for the day I don't think we do I'm gonna leave that out we're gonna get this salt and call that the this salt should be in here Hoping. I mean, it should be. This is the clean oil, I guess. Yeah, okay. This soap, and this is uh, this is not the one that I like to get, but that's the one they have right now. What do I got? Palm olive, and that's the same price, right? A little bit expensive. I'm gonna get this passion fruit mandarin one. Oh no, this is the one that I like, so I can get this one. I like this one. All right, y'all, be ready to go. I'm going to ask them at the bakery if, um, you know, they normally do what you call it, like they normally do like decorated cakes. Like they do have nice cakes there that are decorated, like really, really pretty cakes. But I wanted to see like if they could do like a certain like writing on it or, you know, not really decorate it a certain way, but at least put like a writing on it, like words on it. I hope y'all can hear me y'all because I have my window down just because it is a little bit hot. It's actually 18 degrees, y'all. <laughs> Today is a good day. It's 18 degrees. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to see like if they could put like rating on it, but I didn't bother to I didn't I, I didn't get to ask because when I got there, um as soon as I, when I got walked to the thing, they were like kind of walking in the back and I was taking my time to look at the cakes first, but 
then they walked to the bar and then nobody came back out and then i was kind of in a hurry so i didn't want to stay there like waiting when i could like be looking for the things that i need to actually go buy so anyways i'm gonna figure that out but my next gift well that's not really a gift but my i bought her one thing already i got her one thing that she did want and it was like a, this kind of nike ski mask thing and then she told me last night that she eventually would want like a white one but she kind of knows that she's getting a ski mask already anyway but she told me she wanted a white one um but it didn't have the white one on amazon that i saw they didn't i didn't see it but then again i didn't check because she only told me that yesterday evening so anyway so she gained the black one for her birthday and then my next gift to her was i wanted to get like a picture framed of like her a family portrait hello family picture done with her family um when they were like younger and then when they were like i know like at the age yeah no because there's two pictures i've seen her post on like um her whatsapp pictures and stuff and just pictures that i would have seen when i seen them or whatever so i wanted to get those pictures like framed but i want I, I don't know if i should do like one photo whether it be like when they were younger or when they're older um, but I wanted to do it black and white, but I thought it would be so cool to do it like side by side to like because when they were younger and when they are now I don't know y'all so um, That's my plan we at the supermarket i was doing the tuscan chicken like i told y'all you know i went to the supermarket today while i was like on my work break to get the stuff that we needed but it's only now that i get home and i start doing it that i realized that we didn't have mushrooms so they gone inside the supermarket we at the supermarket right now i got my neck clothes so in the car she gone other clothes so she gonna get the mushrooms um I got the chicken at home, lemon, lemon sauce, and I cut it in half because you're supposed to cut the chicken breast in half. So I cut it in chicken breast in half, and I got it lemon salty. Tell me why we back at the store again. We are back at the store again. We just left. My girlfriend got the mushrooms and frosted flakes. We just left the store. As we get to the top, we get. I was like, yo, I don't know if we got any more oil because we was running out of cooking oil. So no, she gone back for cooking oil. <laughs> So we had to turn around, spin around the road, and come back for cooking oil. So yeah, yeah. I hope that this is everything. So we got the cooking oil. We got the cooking oil. We got the mushrooms, and I think that's it. wasn't gonna come on camera this morning but i was like let me just turn it on and talk for a little bit i am on my way to work today is friday today is november 8th today is my um one of my friend's birthday her name is asha um today's her birthday but yeah so i'm on my way to work and oh y'all about i don't i don't think i really showed you all really really well the tuscan chicken um dish that i did last night but it came out really really good um definitely definitely would do it again did i go this way last time i don't remember definitely would do it again y'all know how much hell that take me not really how it take me to do but in between like, the fact that i didn't have the mushrooms and then i had to go to the grocery store we had to go to the grocery store and then y'all would have seen that i think i recorded on my phone so i need to remember to put this in the video because i recorded on my phone because i didn't have my camera at the time but yeah so it came out really good um Bay really liked it she said because we did it i did it different this time i did it the real actual way this time the last time we did a dish that was the same thing with chicken breasts um mushrooms spinach and everything but it was different and we had added like spaghetti pasta last time but this time i added um this time i put it with like the ravioli that we got it took a while because like the 
the searing or the frying of the chicken or whatever you will call it um the pan frying of the chicken to me the longest part the, the thing that took the longest was like the frying of the chicken and um the chicken because oh i i know you were supposed you were supposed to cut the chicken like slice the chicken but even how i had mine done it could have been cut a little bit smaller like a little bit thinner so that it would have cooked faster but it wasn't so um but yeah afraid well i told you what it is friday it's weekend i just want to relax this weekend which i will be doing you know i had a y'all i had a my last couple of weeks i wouldn't say they were stressing but they were stressing i have just been trying to ask god for not trying to ask god but i've been praying and asking god for like clarity um just for like my purpose you know clarity in terms of what i should be doing whether it be like career wise um and or not even whether just in general just my life in general like what i should be doing how i should be doing it when i should be doing it with who i should be doing it with like in terms of like business plans who i should ask for advice from um just it's just a lot like i've just been asking for asking god for clarity to show me like if there's something that i may be missing like what am i doing wrong um should i be seeking advice from somebody specific or specific people what do i want to do because as i say y'all living paycheck to paycheck and as a team people look at like people lives <laughs> and be thinking that they are struggling i mean they might not be struggling so i need to figure out something like something gotta give and i don't know what it is but i gotta do something about you know and it's like so i'm trying to think but because I, I i see so many different things that people are doing and they're making money but it's like everything don't work the same way for everybody and it's like when you when when money come into play when it's when money comes into play you don't want to put your money somewhere and then you lose your money and then it not make by the money that you expect it would but also that's what the whole that's what is risk right like that's the whole risk you have to take risks to make money most times most times you know um even even having a nine to five to me is a risk because yes you make money yes you know at the end of the month or at the end of the two weeks or whatever you make money and you know that okay this is a certain amount of money that i know coming into my pocket because i work you know i do any work right now so i know that i have to get paid however it's a risk of you are at risk of one day the company just deciding you know what she ain't doing the job good enough that way that she go or just at risk of the company gang like doing layoffs or just just stupid stuff like that you get what i mean i don't want to say stupid but it's actually stuff that could happen things that could actually happen ah! yo don't be my problem that's just not my problem